focuses on the year 1747, uh, which seems to have been a very special year for Johann Sebastian Bach. He was at the end of his life and he uh, was not very happy with uh, where he st stood at that moment because he was generally acknowledged as a great performer and a great improviser, but not so much as a composer. He was considered old-fashioned. And in that year, in May, he visited his son, who was employed as a composer uh, at the court, uh, the Prussian court of uh, Frederick the Great. And that court in Potsdam uh, was a special place for music. There were many composers employed there. And uh, Frederick the Great, in fact, was a, a musician himse himself. He played the flute and was also composing a little bit. Frederick the Great gave him uh, a theme of himself, um, later called the royal theme, and uh, asked uh, Bach to, uh, uh, to improvise a, th a three-part fugue on it. And then after that came out successful, uh, he asked Bach if he could perform a six-part fugue on it. And then Bach uh, said, well, I will not do it here. I would rather do it at home and then present it as a gift to you. And that's exactly what happened. When he returned home, he immediately started composing and of that came the musical offering, which is a great, late and very complex piece of uh, Bach. Later in that year, in uh, June, he was um, admitted to the Corresponding Society of Musical Science. To mark this event, he composed a, a piece based on the Vom Himmelhoch song, which is a, a Christmas song uh, composed by Martin Luther. Not only did he compose this extremely complex new music for the society, but he had a, a painting painted of himself by uh, the then famous uh, painter Hausmann. And on the painting, he is holding a piece of paper and he's actually presenting it, the piece of paper, as a gift. The piece of paper contains three lines of music and um, it can be seen from the viewer, so you or me, but it can also be seen from the uh, viewing point of the composer. And then it becomes not three, a three-part uh, fugue, but a six-part fugue. This was the kind of play that Bach was very involved with by this time. And I, to me, it seems like he was sort of uh, going away from the society that, that he was in, and in fact, spiritualizing almost his, his art. And um, uh, this kind of play must have played a role also in his definition of himself, because this was the way he wanted himself to be portrayed. So on the album, uh, we have the musical offering, the canonic variations on Vom Himmelhoch, and the 14 canons of which the, the notes on paper are just a tiny part. Musical offering was obviously uh, yeah, a mathematical piece or a, 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 maybe a spiritual piece and I think more for the insiders, for real experts. Um, I can hardly imagine that it was intended to be performed in the way it's, uh, it's constructed. So uh, for a long time I have been thinking of how uh, we could ma make this work as a concert piece. All in all, I think I've thought about it and worked on it for about 10 years because the piece is very complex from a composing point of view, but it's also um, very strange in that it's not for a given uh, set of instruments. an extra double reed instrument because the double reeds for me are more uh, fitting for Baroque music. So I was thinking of maybe an extra oboe or an extra bassoon and then we finally landed on 
a very special instrument, uh, the bass oboe, but we found someone who has an even more special instrument called the lupophone, which is a fairly recent invention. And it's, the sound is really fantastic and it has a larger range than the, than the old bass oboe. And it, it's really fitting for, I'm very happy with it. And it's played by Arthur Klaassen, so he does a great job. <laughs> The album basically is a, is a portrait of one year in Bach's life. And I think uh, these three pieces form uh, yeah, a, a vital part of his composing in that time. Mm -hmm. 